morning everybody this is Jamie from uh, Major Mountaineer um, today I want to go over a bag that I just purchased this morning I'd done some looking around I wanted to get a new um, EDC bug out bag type thing um, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it had some ideas out there like the tactical uh, look at the packs with what I do it, it, it goes well for uh, uh, on a daily basis back I guess it's been about a year and a half two years ago perhaps the uh, 511 came out with the Rush 72 I really liked the pack but was not gonna pay that price for it I was like no just can't do it a friend of mine's got it he loves it speaks really highly of it and I was like no, I just can't do it well uh, I did a previous video on a SOG accessory pass that I found at my local Walmart uh, it was a $12 purchase I believe what it was it was a small one and it works great uh, it's no issues haven't done it just haven't done a whole lot of extensive testing with it yet uh, just it's been carried with me every single day on the side of my uh, EDC <coughs> so uh, when I was there I noticed that SOG had some bags there as well so I was like okay let me take a look at uh, the bags and stuff and I looked and I looked at there was one called the squadron and I thought well, that's a pretty good little pack I liked it well then I looked below it and I saw a big bag and they call it the SOG barrage uh, internal frame pack did some research looked for some videos on YouTube about it found one there may be a couple of ones out there but I only found one and I, the guy he talked about it and I said okay I kinda knew a little bit about it just doing some other research on the uh, 511 72 a couple years ago but the price point on this one was uh, 44 97 so 45 dollars is uh, what it would be after taxes you know another couple bucks something to that effect but I thought okay I can do that I what I'll use it for and things like that I'll I'll, I'll definitely get my money's worth out of it I, I got a trip coming up here in the next in the near future that's going to bode me well for so I'm gonna go over the pack a little bit with you today talk about some of the different features of it I will tell you that it's over 5,500 cubic inches is the storage capacity, uh, which is about 91 to 92 liters. Depends on how you like to do the uh, calculations, the math in your head. 5,500 cubic inches equals the size of, of what some people call an expedition size pack. I don't think I'll ever put that much stuff in it, but I like the ability to add to or take away from if I need to. Talk about kit inside of it. But uh, let's go ahead and get. Uh, uh, get to the pack itself. First thing is, is this got this top carry handle, which I do like on packs because a lot of times I have to set it down, pick it up, move it around. So it it looks to be well made. I wish it had a second row of stitching on it. It's just single stitch with the fold over, but not a big deal. Uh, so far, zipper pulls have gone real well. Haven't had an issue with it. I'd like to have them a little bit uh, bigger teeth so it slides a little smoother, but but these will do. Uh, the the pulls themselves, they look to be fairly well made. Hopefully they don't have to be replaced anytime soon. Uh, the one pouch up here that I really, really like on bags is this small felt line pouch. I wear sunglasses and eye protection uh, pretty regularly and I like the idea of having that there is on top of the bag, easy to get to, no issues. It does have a little loop here. Um, you, you can, it's got a place for hydration bladder, you can help hide, tie your uh, hose out if you want to. I wouldn't try to hang the pack from it just because I don't think it would be strong enough to hold it if you had a lot of weight in it. All right. Um, yoke design here. I think most of you have seen this yoke design. I uh, haven't worn it yet so I don't know how comfortable it is. I've heard mixed reviews on this piece of it. Uh, decent size straps, not super super thick but they'll do sternum strap is fully adjustable can slide up and down this entire piece to fit your body frame clips for quick disconnect if you have the pack on you want to drop it uh, this is a nice feature to have on packs so you don't have to un you know unloosen this if you want to get off in a hurry just undo the belt uh, waist belt here it looks to be about the same thickness as these here not an issue uh, wish it had more lumbar padding it does have a drain hole right there but with this way that it's raised you will get some cross ventilation if you're wearing it for long distances and uh, you need to get, get some air between you and the back in your back a good clip solid clip tested a while ago 
does have PALS webbing on the waist belt itself. I've never put anything additional on a waist belt of any type, but you do have the ability to add any accessory pouches that you want to as well. Uh, a couple of tie down loops on each one, or loops on the each one of the shoulder straps here, so you can add additional uh, pieces of equipment or slide, knife if you want to, but a bag this, bag this big, I don't think I'll be adding anything else to. Uh, Velcro for a name tape, morale patch, but I really don't care for the SOG logo right here. It's a little skull with a beret on it. It seems to be one, two rivets through it. I'd take it off, but it's going to leave two holes in my, uh, my webbing there, so I'll leave it on. And the SOG logo here. You can see the PALS or Molly webbing all over the front of it to add more to it. Tie down points on the bottom for the tie down points, so you can tie your bedroll if you choose to or whatever else. And then two more drain holes on the bottom as well. This flap right here, interesting flap. Yeah, it's, it's adjustable. It's got this C rings right here that the strapping goes through. I don't, I've never seen anybody use the inside compartment of, one of, the, of this on the 72. Yet, but what I heard and read online is that there are some uh, people will put like uh, if they're going out rock climbing or biking stuff like that they'll put their helmet in here cinch it down and gives them good um, good security for it you know all these things they, they the compression straps lock in tight they got good clips front pouch here people seem to be referring to them as an admin pouch which is fine that's what we want to call it uh, it is large enough to put in some type of, of uh, portfolio or eight and a half by eleven zipper pocket here, small pocket. You know, any type of riding implements you may want to put in there so they don't fall out. Two deep pockets here. You know, those are about the width of a uh, of a CD. It also, looks like you can put in you know some other type of uh, like a the bags of tuna so they would hold in their wells. There's some pinholes in here, and there's another pocket that's down here, and then additional pockets that kind of extend themselves out right here. Maybe some electronic devices in there, some chargers, that type of thing. Talked about this pocket here. There is another zippered pocket that goes into a non-mesh pocket. It's pretty deep, you can see right there. It's pretty deep. Then you have this meshed pocket here, but all in all, admin pocket will work for me for what I use. Will use it for. It'll hold the stuff that I need it to. Not a big issue. Uh, this pocket here, it's only got one zipper pull on it, but it too can be thrown to your quick, easy. I'll probably put my iPod in here, something to that effect. Um, I don't know what else. Maybe if I'm doing a concealed carry, maybe an extra magazine in this pocket. All right, the main compartment itself, it's a big, big compartment, as you can see. It's got one, two, three individual pockets, two are mesh, one is just this big blow, this big blowout one here at the bottom. The one interesting thing about this top pocket right here, you'll see, is this got a secondary zip. So if you needed to get it for whatever reason from the bottom or from the top, you got that ability to do it. Uh, inside this, it's got an interesting little feature here. There's a bag with some shock cord and a uh, closure on it. I'm thinking, wow, that's a good idea. So when I'm out, when I get done doing some uh, physical training or running and stuff like that, I can put my dirty shoes in here and not get the rest of the bag dirty. So I like that pocket really, really well. Another zipper mesh pocket here. Um, so I know some people go back and forth on the mesh pockets. I like the mesh pockets. I can see what's in there. I don't have to guess. I don't have to open up a thousand different pockets to see because I can't always remember what I've put in there. So I like those mesh pockets. All right, so on the side of each side of the bag, it's got these other big pockets here. It's a great size for a water bottle if you wanted to. Uh, you could carry two on each side. I think this will probably hold multiple bottles of water from like Aquafina, Walmart, Kmart, wherever you, Kroger's, whatever kind of water. And also wherever you buy water from, 
It's also got two other pockets in here. Um, they can be used for accessories that you need to. Pals webbing uh, or molly webbing on each side as well as some tie downs here. There's the same pocket design on this side so it's not a real big deal. Hydration ports. One here and one over here. It does not come with the bladder itself which not a huge huge deal to me. I've got plenty of them. Uh, this back pocket right here, this is where your bladder would go. Put it in there, you run your tube through here, and then it'll run it out through the port right there. So this I have used these pockets like this in the past in the back here for hydration. This will fit a laptop. I don't know if it'll fit my 17 inch one right now or not I'll have to test it and see but that's a good pocket to use it because it does have some padding the uh, internal frame itself is one aluminum stay with a piece of plastic attached to it uh, I've had taken stays out of other backs before and then had to go in and put some type of stiffener in there just to make it work but uh, it's I'll leave that one in, this one in. It, it does, it's actually what I want it for and it doesn't inhibit uh, the use for me at all. I know some people don't care for them. I've made some mistakes in the past by taking them out and uh, throwing them away or losing them or whatever and then not knowing where to get uh, a replacement from so I had to make them out of uh, lids to uh, plastic containers to get some type of stiffener in there as well. Other colors, I know they had one that was uh, digital sand. Uh, it looks like the ACU pattern, just like this right here, but it's a, got some more brownish hues to it. I don't really like that. Uh, I like the brown. I'm pretty sure there's a black with it as well. The accessory pouches that I'm finding at uh, Walmart for the SOG brand are the black accessory pouches, so I'm pretty sure that, that will be, uh, those will be available as well. I just haven't seen them in my local Walmart. Like I said, there's not many reviews out there on this bag right now. I know some people don't have a kind of things to say about it because they say it's a clone, it's cheaper material. Yeah, it is. It's not the same quality. You can guarantee that as the uh, 511. But for what I'm going to use it for, it's perfect. I don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get what I need. And like I said, for what I'm going to use it for and be using it for in the near future, it's going to work for me perfectly. All right, everybody, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate your time. appreciate your views. Thanks for watching.